My name is Bianca Victoria. I am the Passive Income Plug, and I've been stamped by Raleigh Marketing. Raleigh Marketing is the one-stop shop. So welcome to the Raleigh Marketing Stamp Live here with Miss Bianca, the queen of credit, or is that the best way to describe you? Or? I am the Passive Income Plug and a business credit coach. Okay, the passive income plug. Yes. Um, elaborate, please. What do you mean by that? So when I say I'm the passive income plug, passive income plug, that means that I help entrepreneurs um, build and leverage business credit so they can create passive income streams for themselves. They can create multiple streams of income um, and just create generational wealth. So I am the plug to helping entrepreneurs achieve that goal. Awesome. Um, what's the name of your business? The Via Group. The Vi How do you spell it? V as in Victor, I-Y-A. Via Group. Yep. Okay, so what's the focus of the Via Group? The focus of the Via Group, we are a consultant agency, so we specialize in new business structure, business credit, vending, machine solutions, and trucking. Okay. Yes. That's a, a wide range. Yes. You know, so I mean, is there something that inspired the passions for either of those? Yes, yeah, so the VIA group, it literally stands for, my middle name is Victoria, my son's middle name is Yasir, um, V-I-Y-A, VIA group. And I started my business as a truck dispatcher. And from trucking, I learned about business credit. And through business credit, I was able to start a vending machine business for my three-year-old son. So we touch on everything, um, pretty much anything that an entrepreneur or a mom, a parent can really do from home and still make money um, and spend time with their children. So that's important to me. So all of the services that I offer, it allows me to spend time with my child and make money with him. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's a very important detail nowadays, since the pandemic, yes. especially. Uh, now, was that inspired? because of the pandemic or that was, yes. was it before? Um, well, when I had my son, I knew I wanted to create generational wealth for him. So I knew I had to do something that I could pass on to him. I could not pass on a job to him. Um, so that's when I was like, okay, I'm gonna start a business. I was playing around with both of our names and it just came to me in the car by myself. And I just heard a voice, Victory is yours always. And I was like, oh my God, I've been writing VIYA Fire Group. So it just stuck, but the pandemic definitely played a major role because I had time to sit and think and brainstorm. And when the world shut down, trucking did not shut down. And I was like, that's the one industry that is a necessity. Like you'll never get away from it. You're always going to need to move free. Yeah. So, yeah. That's very true. I think that's the biggest industry in the world, logistics. Yes. In some form, flying, trains, yes. trucking, I get it. Yes. Yeah, I mean, actually, I seen an article maybe about five years ago that said that um, transportation, logistics, and transportation was the industry to be in for the yes. next thirty years. Yes, it was saying so. Yes, and it is a multi-billion-dollar industry, so it, it's multiple ways to make money in it. And I'm assuming that's what you provide consulting about. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So I can help if you're looking to get into the logistics industry. Um, I pretty much consult you on how to do that. A lot of people think, oh, you have to own a truck, but there's multiple ways to make money in the logistics industry, specifically in trucking. You do not have to be a driver and you do not have to be an owner operator. So everybody that I help, all of my clients, any new entrepreneurs, like I just, you know, help them open their minds and not think it's just one or two ways. Like it's multiple ways of skin a cat. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. So I love asking people this question, like how would you define excellence? Mm. I would define excellence as um, just starting. To me that's excellent because you can't be excellent if you're not willing to start. If you're not willing to bet on yourself, if you're not willing to take a chance, so I think the biggest hurdle that a lot of people struggle with or a lot of entrepreneurs are, they feel kind of stuck because they are scared to take a chance. They are scared to start. They think about all of the things of like, what if this doesn't happen? What if, what if this doesn't happen? And it's like, just start. Like you'll achieve greatness. You just have to move. 
everything that you're doing is literally one foot in front of the other and it's like the more you move and the more you're willing to take chances and the more to, you're willing to like show up for yourself you'll excel and you'll like everything about you will exude excellence so for me it's just starting that's a good point yeah good stuff so where are we today um right now i am in the working smarter and not harder phase um i'm still providing consulting services um for entrepreneurs looking to start their business build and leverage business try to get in the trucking get in the short-term rental business airbnb um start a vending machine business for themselves or for their family but i definitely want to focus more on building my community and really pouring into my community because i understand everybody is not my target audience um, so I'm really just pinpointing, like, honing in on my target audience and how I can better serve them. Okay. I'm going to try this question again. I mean, literally, like, where are we today? Like, oh, you know, oh, I thought you no, were saying, saying, like, okay. So, I mean, let's try it again. Okay. So where are we today? Oh, we are in Washington, D.C. at the Gathering Spot. Um, today, I had my first live business credit workshop. Um, and I'm so honored to be here. It was a great turnout. Um, we had a lot of good energy. A lot of people were excited. They learned a lot. But normally, I have been doing classes virtually. So this is a big moment because it was my first live class and it's on the home field. So I'm super excited. It was a lot of great entrepreneurs and creatives and just tech people. It was amazing. Would you recommend other businesses come to this spot? Should they get a membership? Is it? I would recommend other businesses come to this spot. Um, I can't tell people what to do, so it's up to them if they want to get a membership or not. But I think with anything, whether it's here or at an event or at a conference, I definitely think you should get in a room because you never know. It might be your next partnership, your next connection, your next referral might be sitting right beside you. You just never know. So I definitely encourage everybody to get in the room. Whatever that may look like for you, whether it's a conference, a membership at an exclusive club such as the gathering spot, just get in the room. Yeah, yeah that's a good point. You know, yeah. we gotta keep networking. Yes. I mean I feel like it's an old fashioned method, but it's, it doesn't Yes. It doesn't go anywhere, you know. Yes. Um, awesome. Anything you would like to if there was words of encouragement or inspiration you would leave for our audience, is, is there any final words you would say? Maybe they haven't started yet. Maybe they haven't started a business or haven't started that vision they keep dreaming about. Yes. I mean, any words of encouragement in reference to that? Write it down. Write it out, make it plain. You have to write a plan. If you keep writing something, if you're dreaming about something or if you're thinking about something, it's been placed in your mind and in your heart for a reason. So I would just say just keep writing it out. Keep praying on it. Um, be very strategic with whatever it is that you're doing. Be very intentional and execute. The only person that's stopping you from achieving greatness is you. So nobody's going to go hard for you like you're going to go hard for yourself. Nobody is going to go hard for your business like you will go hard for your business. So you have to be willing to show up and show out. So if I could say anything, is show up, be intentional, and give yourself grace. Because every day won't be sunshine and unicorns. You know, there will be some tough days, but as long as you get back up, if you get knocked down, get back up and just keep going.